Hey guys, uh, last night I put the finishing touches on a project that I've been working on for a couple of weeks and I have it installed here on this uh, Hot Racing LCG chassis. So the project is a flat skid for uh, the SCX24. I think it could be the first flat skid for an SCX24. I know that there is another chassis that you can buy uh, for the SCX24 that comes with its own flat skid but uh, that's slightly different because this one should work in anything uh, that will accept a SCX24 skid. So yeah, last night I put the finishing touches on it, um, and uh, this is my working prototype. It's the what I believe is the final version. So last night I put the links on, and uh, prior to that I worked out the mounting of the uh, motor and transmission, which I was a little bit nervous about. I wasn't sure how that was going to work because it looked a little bit tricky, but I'm happy to say that it came out great and it's very sturdy. That uh, that motor and transmission isn't going anywhere. I've got the uh, mounting holes for the trans recessed, as you would expect. And uh, if you look at it this way, you can see that it's centered on the skid more so than even the stock skid. I noticed the stock skid has the motor even a little bit closer to the side of the chassis there. So I was able to do that. Uh, so after I got that, uh, the motor and transmission uh, sorted out, I went ahead and I started working on these links. So I've got the hot racing links that are specific to this particular chassis mounted up, uh, both front and rear, and they went on without any problems. It's a little bit tricky to get them on, but that's it's worth the trouble. And as you can see, uh, they hang down without any binding. And if you flip it over, they go up without any binding, and you can see that the arms or the uh, links have plenty of plenty of room to move. Uh, these uh, hot racing links are O-ring, the O-ring kind, so they're very stiff. But uh, if I just do this, you can still see that there's plenty of articulation without any any binding uh, on the skid, which I was a little bit worried about, but it worked out just fine. So everything. Uh, Everything turned out pretty good. I have not seen a flat skid for the SCX24 anywhere other than I think the one I mentioned uh, at the beginning of the video. Uh, I'm sure people will be coming out with them soon because I guess if I learned anything uh, from, from making this is that it's entirely possible. The downside to this, of course, is that the motor and transmission are now about five millimeters higher than they are with the stock um, SCX24 skid that looks more like that. So it would be down there. But, you know, that's a trade-off you have to make if you want to, you know, get that flat skid. So I think it was worth it. And this chassis uh, in particular is already uh, got a very low center of gravity. And once I get the electronics and the battery in here, it, it'll still be super low. So. I'm not worried about that trade-off. I think it's going to be worth it. Uh, we'll see. I mean, I don't even know if it's going to make a big difference. I mean, we are talking about an SCX24 here, but who knows, in certain situations, if uh, if I ever do get this thing into any kind of a competition, that might make a difference sometime. In addition to the links and the uh, transmission and motor, I also tried uh, both drive shafts and they clear the links without any problem whatsoever, which I'm very, very happy about. And uh, overall, it uh, looks like it's going to work. So I did make it specifically for this build, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, once I get this thing together, uh, we'll run it out on the rocks and we'll see how it does. I will have to... I was a little bit disappointed with these hot racing links. For some reason, the front is super long. Uh, that pinion angle is nuts. And uh, if you look at it here, you see that it has no caster whatsoever. So I've got to shorten these links up and get some caster in this thing. Otherwise, it's not going to turn for for anything. So that's something I have to work on this weekend. Uh, in the background, you see all the different versions of what it takes to ultimately get there. As I said, what's in here now is my working prototype, which I think is going to be the final one. I just have to decide whether or not it's going to be in white or black. I'm getting a little bit tired of all these blackout projects that uh, these cars ultimately end up being, so maybe a little bit of color or contrast isn't a bad idea. And here's what the skid sort of looks like. 
Uh, got the holes there for the uh, mounting tabs on the trans. That's the cutout for the gear. You got the little mounting tab for that ear on the opposite side of the uh, gearbox. And again, this isn't a finished version, it's just an experiment, so it's not in its finished state. Uh, that is to say, all cleaned up. I've even got the little little nubs in there that help align it in the chassis. And uh, yeah, so it takes a few versions, but ultimately you get there. Here's what it looks like in black. This one's still got all the pr 3D printing stuff on it, but you can see what it looks like there. So anyway, um, that's my flat skid. Uh, thanks for taking a look.